Right guys, welcome back to a new video. In long time no see, I've not posted too much in the last week or so. Basically I was away in Germany uh, for a few days which was good fun and then since I've come back, I've been watching Europa League, big up to Chelsea and then last night I may have popped out for a few jinks for the Champions League but uh, not too many because of what's happening today. But big up to Liverpool for last night as well. Um, so today I am playing in my second of two charity football matches for the Sir Bobby Robson Foundation and today it is Newcastle Fans TV versus Borough Fans TV. So Newcastle versus Middlesbrough, um, obviously in our last charity game we may have lost by a fair few goals. Um, I'm hoping today is going to be a bit of a closer match and hopefully we can pick up the win. Um, but yeah, it's over in County Durham, uh, in Shildon. I did put the post up on my Instagram if anyone wants to come down and watch. So hopefully I'll see a few of you guys there. Obviously I'm going to see loads of guys from the Borough Fan TV and the Castle Fan TV. And it's over charity. So I'm looking forward to it. I put in a decent shift second half last game. So hopefully I can put a decent shift in today and we can win. But I'm running late as always. So let's get going. Here we go. Away team dressing room. Oh, professional. Look at that. <laughs> Here we go. Get a look at that. Neutral ground, but with a stand. That is pretty cool. Um, still a good half an hour from kickoff, so hopefully there's a few people sat in it before the game starts. That is our team, and that is the enemy over there. They've got some proper strips made up in red with Middlesbrough badges, which is pretty cool. I think we're probably going to do a warm up, see what the teams are saying. Alright, Johnny. What's the score going to be, mate? We're going to win. Well, I don't know, this be off a fight 12 hours ago, so I don't know. Um, <laughs> oh, really? I was going to say, you look nice and tanned. I know. Come on, I've got to go Newcastle, I've got to win, haven't I? I'm going to go 3 2. 3 2. Not possible. I'll take it. <laughs> Cheers. Right then lads, we're getting started, back at centre back again, five at the back with the two wing backs, let's get a win. Right then, who's ready for a bit of commentary from me? Now I did take all of my highlights from Newcastle Fans TV, so if you want to see some more, do check out their channel. They actually streamed the entire 90 minute game with commentary so if you want to go and watch it you can i've picked out a handful of clips to show you guys here mainly involving what i was doing in the game but again big up to newcastle fans tv and borough fan tv for putting the game on and we can now get ourselves kicked off Long throw for Borough Fan TV over on the left hand side and a decent headed clearance from me. I was doing that a lot today, especially in the first half as they really piled on the pressure in the first 10-15 minutes. And again the ball comes in, another decent-ish tackle from me and a clearance as we try to get the ball further forward. A pass out here in the centre mid is missed and some good skill from the left back and a quality through ball over the top. I try to cover but it just bounced so awkwardly and he, he puts it away. It's a good finish for them. That makes it 1-0. Another ball forward from the left back and another clearance from me as we try to move forward. The centre mid for Borough Fan TV because some great skill to get around him as I quickly win the ball back. Moving on to possibly our best chance of the first half. A great ball into the back stick and just missed by the Irish guy from HITC Sport. It is really one of them. It was dipping the whole time and he just couldn't get a connection on it. Another ball forward from us as we try to grab a last minute goal but a big clearance from the left back leaving me with a sore head as I clear that one away and that pretty much wraps up the first half. 1-0 down and a lot to do in the second half. Half time. We're losing 1-0. I think I've done an all right job at the back, but just one of them goals went in for the tackle. It kind of bobbled up as you're in with it, and he came out with it and blooming stuck it in the net. So we've had chances, but the, the reason I sound 
unhappy isn't necessarily the one nil. I went in for a challenge and someone's proper stood it right in the foot and it, I'm not joking, it absolutely kills. So I'm trying to stay loose so that it doesn't balloon up before the second half. Um, Hopefully I can play through the whole game. You know, we've had plenty of chances. Um, I know Newcastle fans TV are live streaming the whole thing, so if you're watching, I hope you're enjoying the game. It's been pretty end to end. And hopefully I can grab a few highlights from the first and second half, and hopefully the highlights in the second half will be better than the first. So getting into the second half now, because the whole game was being live streamed, they needed to charge up the camera at half time. And believe it or not, quite a lot happened in the first few minutes of the game. So I'll let Paul, who was commentating, tell you about that. Yep, welcome back for the second half. Uh, we have missed the first um, opener moment, and in those moments, Newcastle Fans TV have turned it round. Uh, literally, as soon as we came out of the blocks, equaliser from our left back, and we have just literally two minutes ago scored again. So at the moment, the score is Newcastle Fans TV 2, Middlesbrough Fans TV. One. That's right, so we completely turned it around in the first few moments of the second half to go 2-1 up. Some great goals from Eno and Jake. So well done to use two. And as you can see here, Borough Fan TV with a chance out on the edge of the box for a quick equaliser. Saved from the keeper and fumbled. Some nice words from the commentator, so I'll pass it to them now. Get yourself sorted. That was a lovely ball. That was a lovely header lovely away header from Rob Rubenstein again. Got to be content. Clear it. Man of the match. He keeps this uh, level of performance up. Some very nice words from the guys there, so thank you very much. Just as we see Borough Fan TV almost grab an equaliser. They had a lot of chances in the second half as well. A decent challenge from me down on the left-hand side before they build an attack up on the left. And as you can see here, the cross comes over, flicked through to the striker at the back stick. And what... A save from the keeper. I mean, he made some fantastic saves. Both goalkeepers kept their team in it time and time again. And I think we actually saved a few shots off the line from Borough Fan TV during the game as well. A nice moment here of me getting absolutely clattered, which did not help the foot that was already very, very sore. And again, you can see here, ball coming across. And I managed to just stick me noggin on that at the right time to get it out. And again, it was pretty much backs against the wall for the last 10-15 minutes for us as Borough Fan DV pushed further forward and forward for an equaliser. We grab a chance right at the very end. But again, another cracking save from the Borough Fan TV goalkeeper. And again, a very last minute free kick for the equaliser is put over the bar. And we won it 2-1. It was very end-to-end, -end. it was a great performance from both teams, both goalkeepers making a number of saves. And I was happy to get the win. And 45 minutes later, the game's ended, they're doing a couple of post-match interviews and that over there. 1-2-1. It, uh, it was proper close, you know what, big up to the um, Borough Fan TV because had some decent players. Got a bit uh, feisty at the end, to be fair, with uh, 10 minutes to go with obviously just one goal in it. Um, two decent goals from us. Um, I think I put a decent account for myself as well, so I'm happy. However, mate, what have you got? Get over here. Happy? This man, <laughs> man of the match. Unbelievable. I, I, John Terry at I the match. I did all right. Uh, I mean, it's a, it's a nice change from what happened in the last uh, no, charity you, game. You, 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 honestly, you were great. Um, oh. Never has a man of the match award been more deserved. <laughs> Thank you. Up. Yeah. I, I did all right, but um, yeah, the, the whole team did well. Like I said, from being one nil down, pulling two goals back, the couple of lads who got the goals, sprinting down the ring, were, were cracking. Um, yeah, and after getting hammered 13-1, I think it was, two weeks ago, it was nice for the whistle of Lord for us to win the game. Um, and again, great game from both teams. It was, it was very, very tight. Right, guys, join with Lee again from Newcastle Fans TV. Bit happier today. <laughs> yeah, I didn't play the day. I looked after all the media stuff, but... Um, much much better performance yeah. um, a lot more organisation a lot of movement a lot more attack yeah it was very 50-50 I thought oh, I didn't think Borough deserved to go 1-0 up but got to take the chances we did have a few in that first half yeah. I think we rode with luck we scored quite early on in that second half we did yeah and then I believe we cleared two off the line that was that kept us in the game <laughs> there were some close ones I'll say the, uh, the, the keeper who played very well a few times made some great saves near the end as well um, and then we just played on the counter and trying to hang on that was and it Get it in the corners. <laughs> there he is, the keeper. And then we, when we grabbed the second one, it was basically just counter attack, and we're just using the ASAP space on the wing, and yeah. it, it, it nearly worked with the killer, but 
and overall uh, it's a great day out and hopefully it raises more money. I know and obviously big up to Borough Fan TV. Uh, weren't very happy down. at the end though, well, were they? I got a bit feisty, I'll say that. Um, got a bit feisty at the end, <laughs> obviously both teams wanted to win and it was a very close game. Um, but obviously it's for the charity. That's what, that's the, what it is for. Yeah, and um, obviously you can go on and donate, can't you ladies? Please, please do, well, look, um, five quid, ten quid, two quid, what have you got. They're saying all the, um, the media and the, out and the outlets of that ten pounds yeah. can actually save a life and you know keep raising please do anything spare yeah so if you can help um i hope you guys have enjoyed the video and good to see you lee cheers man cheers having us down hey guys i'm joined by joe from uh, borough fan tv it was a close game mate gotta say it was close and meant to end mate um obviously first half obviously we got the look of the green but in the second half um you just clicked on straight away and obviously you got the win but at the end of the day the charity is the main winner of the day yeah yeah, that's it. And, and as I say, I'll be out in my mouth the last 10 minutes because you were really piling on the pressure. So I was happy to uh, get away with the 2 1 win. Um, but I, it was a nice day, and I, as you say, it's for the charity. I know you guys win. Obviously, it's mainly sponsored it for the Bobby Robson side, but you guys are also doing it for Gary Parkinson Trust. Yeah. Uh, Gary Parkinson, he was. Um, he was a borough player from 1987 through to 1993. Uh, he went on to have a successful career at the likes of Preston, Burnley, and uh, he was took up a head of role, uh, head of youth development at Blackpool after um, his playing career in 20, uh, then. But then, um, unfortunately, in September of 2010, he suffered a stroke and he developed locked in syndrome, which is one of the main causes after having a stroke, which left him paralysed from head to toe. So the Gary uh, Parkinson Trust was set up to. Uh, help raise money to, towards his rehabilitation because he's currently in rehabilitation at Royal Bolton Hospital because he lives in Bolton at the minute and support his family needs. It's a very good cause mate and um, I know a lot of you guys are going to be Newcastle fans but I'll make sure to put their channel down below <laughs> and the link to donate as well so good to see you man thanks yeah. for having us down. No problem. Right then and we're back happy to get the win um, absolutely knackered um, I think I need another year to recover before the next charity game if there is one next year um, but yeah, big up to everyone who took part, Newcastle Fan TV, uh, Borough Fan TV, obviously on the Newcastle side I've mainly spoken about um, Bobby Robertson Foundation, but it was great to have Joe on to speak about the um, Gary Parkinson Trust as well um, from the Middlesbrough side. So yeah, it was a good day, I'm happy we won, Mark let me know when I left that I, I got man of the match as well, so considering I've barely play that was um that was quite nice to hear and also i mentioned it at half time that i hurt my foot i was glad i carried on in the second half but it's absolutely killing now which is why i think i need a good rest tonight but yeah thank you to um everyone who got involved today like i've said if you have donated then fantastic thank you very much hope to have raised the profile of the two charities a little bit today because as i say that was the main thing um bit of fun a bit of football that's what it's all about. But yeah, thank you all for watching. As always, drop a like on the video if you have enjoyed. And we'll have to see if there's another charity football match next year as well. And if so, hopefully I can be involved. All right, thank you all for watching. I'll catch you later.